Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. So if you like any of those things, or perhaps you're like me and you too like all things fancy and fabulous, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to press the notification bell, take it a step further, and connect with me over on Instagram. Okay, before we get into this video, I have two tips that I want to strongly mention in this video that's going to help your fragrances last all day. Now, I also have to say this, okay? I also have to say this. Yes, you guys, I have to say this. Fragrances are very subjective. They are you know, just subjective, you know, different people, how they perform on different people, how they last on different people, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. You already know, right? In case you don't, it is true. What performs on me and what I'm telling you today may not be the case for you. I always encourage you all to start with the sample, try before you buy. However, if you're not able to do it, these are some of the fragrances that I've pulled from my collection that last a really long time. I know that some of you have reached out and said, Sheree, it is already 70 80 here can you give some long lasting fragrances this is for you if you guys have any video recommendations please leave them in the comment section below i'm always happy to do that for you so i have a little bit of everything some going into spring some for summer some for still cold weather because some of my friends are still like girl it is like negative nine out here i'm like oh my gosh okay so here we go gucci bloom i love gucci bloom you guys this is one of my absolute favorite fragrances it is very heavy on the tube rolls yes powdery woody honeysuckle jasmine but this is a beautiful fragrance this lasts. now here's what the tips are for making your fragrances last always hydrate always moisturize always get like a heavy cream or unscented body lotion or body cream or body crops however if you can get the lotion or the body cream that comes with the fragrance or the body oil I have found in my experience that creams help the fragrance to preserve itself and last and project a little louder on me than the fragrance oils even with my Baccarat Rouge I have the oil and I have the lotion the lotion performs and helps it to last a lot longer than the body oil. That is my personal experience, but I wanted to share with you. So always layer, but this one would be good. This is anytime, anywhere, any place. It doesn't have to be dressy. It definitely makes me think of spring, summer. It is very pretty. It is like a botanical garden. All of the flowers have been put inside of this bottle and captured, and it smells so beautiful. This is something you would wear to brunch, church, afternoon tea, um, out for coffee um, with your friends. Just, it's a beautiful, beautiful, fragrance like that I don't see a certain age demographic with this I think a 20 year old could wear it a 70 year old could wear it I just believe it's a beautiful fragrance it does have rose in it however it is not an old stuffy rose it is a very modern chic classy sophisticated kind of rose I move on this is another one now if you're weird it's a little bit warmer and you're wanting something more fruity floral uh, fresh tropical this would be a way to go watermelon kiwi musk this is la patrice or la patrice uh number three by dng you guys remember i ordered this bottle last year from one of those fragrance houses that you know the big box houses and this is how it came she couldn't be bothered to send it back and ask for a new one so it is what it is this is a beautiful fragrance this is get dressed something cute whimsical i get very flirty uh girly vibes very feminine very playful very upbeat but still sexy it's still sexy it smells like a cocktail, like a beautiful fruity cocktail, Evervescent. It's a beautiful fragrance. This is very long lasting, and I'm gonna say this too. Tip number two I spray very, very heavy. I am not encouraging you to spray heavy, but if you spray heavy, it is what it is. This will last, and as it warms up on the body, like if you spray it on a hot summer day or like a warm day, it just engulfs itself into the skin and it becomes one. And as you walk past, especially if you have on shorts or you put it on an intimate body part where your pulse points are, are. Tip number three, spray it where your pulse points are, your hot spots, in the crack of your arms, um, behind your neck, um, <laughs> or behind your ear loops, down by the calf of your knees. You know where it is, okay? Coco says spray wherever you want to be kissed, and I couldn't agree more. I move on. Now, if you want a beast fragrance, if you just want people to get out of your way before you even come, if you want them to hear you like a lion and hear you roar, then you are going to reach for Chanel's newest friend to the family, which is Lilian. Oh my gosh, this is a tight 
tiger. This is a lion. This is hear me roar. I am coming. This is definitely, definitely cold weather in my opinion. Definitely unisex, definitely cold weather in my opinion. This is a beast. This projects like nobody's business. This is going to get on you. It is not leaving. It is never going anywhere. It is going to hold you tight. It is never ever going to let you go. It is bossy. It is classy. It is sophisticated. It is elegant. It is every single thing you can imagine. Here is what I'm going to say. This magic and this fragrance happens in the dry down. It doesn't happen when you initially spray it. When you initially spray it the first time, you're going to be like, what in the world? I told you guys, it's, it's, it's a what in the world. But about an hour in, oh my gosh, it comes alive. It's settled down. It comes through like creamy, rich, leather, refined, sophistication class in a bottle and it's so uber 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 good oh my god i didn't even tell you guys any of the notes um amber patchouli madagascar yeah vanilla sandalwood musk long lasting beast in projection beast in siage chanel le lion you cannot go wrong i am going to say this tip number four start with a sample and if you start with the sample do a wear test if you happen to be in the malls or in the stores and you're shopping for fragrances one of, be one of the best things you can do is spray the body okay spray the body allow yourself some time maybe go shopping maybe go to another store see how the fragrance is going to wear on you how you smell it from the bottle to a card even to a cap is not necessarily how it's going to smell on you or even your friend you might say oh my god I loved how that smelled on you you may purchase it and find that it doesn't smell that way on you so I always encourage people to buy a fragrance that they've sat with before they've put on the body they've worn it they've seen how it performed on them what the sillage was then you know that you know it's a great fragrance for you and you don't have to live with regret you want to return it send it back I don't have time for that I don't play those games I buy what I love and I buy what loves me I move on another one let's go to a another sexy one this is a very sexy fragrance to me in my opinion I don't have a full bottle I bought the travel sizes so all I have is this beautiful stunning little decant here of good girl gone bad white florals accord jasmine fruity orange blossom off manthus tube rose amber it is a beautiful I use it more in the spring and the summer than I do in the winter or the fall and it's sexy it's a sexy fragrance this is something that I would wear if I was gonna meet with my friends if I was gonna go out for lunch or dinner this is also something that I would come and freshen up with and go out with my guy this is something actually that I will wear too if I was trying to tell him something without telling him something but I was definitely telling him something this is the type of fragrance that I would reach for a good girl gone bad you cannot go wrong if you watch my wish list video you know that I am picking up good girl gone bad Ooh, fresh because that one is another one that is set at XC and she loves a sexy fragrance I haven't said it in a while so for those that are new allow me to say it if a fragrance isn't sexy I don't even want it in my collection I move on sticking with the beautiful fragrances this is another beautiful long-lasting fragrance and of course it is from the house of Chanel this is Chanel Chance Utanza and that is this one here it is a beautiful fragrance it's very classy fruity citrus sweet powdery it's a fresh spicy uh, white musk it is beautiful the thing that I love most about this fragrance is how it makes me feel this is the EDP they do have the EDT this is not that one this is the one that was newly released I believe what was it 2019 it was released so I wanted this one the other one was just a little bit too light for me this has a little bit of depth but it's still light and it's beautiful this is a fragrance that just makes me happy. I definitely think that this is sexy at the same time this would be so romantic this is also a romantic fragrance in my opinion something that you would wear on a date night this would be a perfect first date fragrance this would be a perfect fragrance to go and meet someone's parents to wear to a family event of someone that you're meeting for the first time this would be a great fragrance to wear to a wedding this would be a great fragrance to wear apple picking hello yes we're still picking apples you guys you can't go wrong with Chanel Chance okay all of these will be linked in the description box below I move on another beautiful fragrance is Tom Ford Santal blush that is this one here this is a warm spicy cinnamon carrot seed ylang ylang rose sandalwood benzoin this is sexy this is beautiful this is sexy this is inviting this is creamy this is rich oh god this is like grab my coat grab but this is cold weather I would still say this is cold weather you could probably wear it without heavy spraying it up into early spring depending on you know where you live but I wouldn't wear this in the summer 
Oh, it would be a bit too much, but it, you know, some might like it heavy in the summer. In the summer, I like it to be a little bit more, you know, lighter, airier, not necessarily fresh. I still like it to be hot, heavy, and sexy. Don't get me wrong now. But this one here, definitely winter vibes for me. That is Santal Blush by Tom Ford. This is an amazing, creamy, rich, spicy fragrance. Um, I think date night vibes is where I get with this fragrance. Definitely a Netflix and chill. Some people tell me they don't like Netflix. That's okay. Chill by the fireplace. This is still a good fragrance to wear. I move on. I spoke to you guys recently about this one. This is Maison Francis Kirk John. This is Gentle Fluidity Goat. It is the cardamom in here for me, Dwellings. This is a beautiful fragrance. I feel that this could be worn year round. It is a very warm, sexy, inviting fragrance. This will be good for a signature scent. It's very long lasting. I do overspray, but even if I don't overspray, I can still get a good I can still get a good eight hour wear out of this fragrance. It performs very nice, the nutmeg, fresh spice, amber, vanilla. It is a beautiful gourmand-like fragrance, but not gourmand in the sense where, you know, it's not as deep or as heavy as the Angel Mugler um, gourmand, but it's definitely in that warm, spicy, sexy, uh, amber type of fragrance vibe that it gives you, and it is really good. Um, you can't go wrong with this. I love wearing this out because when you wear it out and it's kind of cool and you get a, uh, a breeze of the wind and you get a whiff of this fragrance, it is just so good. The silver one is really good as well. Mixing them together gives you a totally different fragrance. Um, but this one here out of the two, silver and gold, I prefer gold. Let me know what you prefer in the comments section below. I move on. Now this one is hot, okay? This one is coming with the heat. This one is very hot. This one is very like, oh my gosh, don't overspray it. Please don't overspray it. Shrey, who are you talking to? Me? I'm talking to me because I oversprayed this, you guys. I wasn't mad that I oversprayed it because I was out and it was really cold and we were sitting out. But this, right, the, the waiter stopped and asked what I was wearing. And it was during the mask season, okay? The waiter was like, what are you wearing? My guy was like, what are you wearing? I was like, oh my gosh, what am I wearing? And of course, it is this one here, Sparentino Florentino by Tiziana Terenzi. This is a warm, spicy saffron. Uh, this has Lily of the Valley, birch, ock moss leather. This has everything in it. Yes, it has resemblance of, yes, it re resembles Baccarat Rouge 540, but in a totally different way. At this point, I just think everything resembles Baccarat Rouge 540, I'm just saying. But this right here is good. It stands on its own. It doesn't need to be compared to Baccarat Rouge 540, even though it does smell like it, but this right here is good. This is that date night. This is where you're going out. Reach for the leather coat. If it's still cold where you are, um, you could probably spray this in the summer, like on a brisk summer night and still get away with it, but don't heavy spray. But this right here, oh my gosh. Ah, oh, this is intoxicating. This is sexy. This is smoky. I call it heat. This is heat in a bottle. This is fire. And she absolutely loves it. I move on. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, you guys. I know, I know a lot of you are like, girl, that does not last on me. It does not last. Okay, on me, it lasts. I told you, fragrances are subjective. They are very different. I do overspray it. And I actually have the body cream. Um, I bought it in a gift set. So it came with the body lotion, the body cream, what have you. And so I'll put that on first and then I'll heavy spray this. And then here's tip number five and if I'm not on number five then I don't know just tip 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 okay tip number five if you want to ensure that your fragrance lasts a little bit even longer spray your garment spray your clothes spray your hair those are all ways to get your fragrance to last now listen to this if you're wearing something light if you're wearing silk if you're wearing a material or something that might stain due to the fragrance especially if the fragrance has a color to it you definitely don't want to spray it but if I'm wearing a jacket or my hair is down the ends I will take a little bit of the fragrance and I will spray the ends of my hair. I will do the sprinkler system, sprinkle, sprinkle. If you don't know what the sprinkler system is, like why, how, how do you not know? Leave it in the comment section below if you know what the sprinkler system is. I definitely do the sprinkler system. Definitely spray heavy with this. This is very sexy. This is anytime, anywhere, any place. I feel this could be worn year round. It just depends on how you spray, what the climate is, where you live, but it's definitely a date night, sexy. You don't have to be on a date. Girly day, you could wear this as a signature scent. You can wear it every day. It could be an everyday thing. It just depends on your vibe. For me, I have categorized it and put it in a date night, like a soft date night. Like we're not doing too much. I'm gonna make a little bit of effort. I'm gonna put a little light makeup on, do something to my hair, brush it maybe a few times, put something on, comfy and cute, cozy, and then we're going out. It's one of those type for me. Feel the notes, black coffee, white flower, vanilla, you guys right here, this is good, good. I move on, and that is black opium. I wasn't gonna put this in, I just wasn't, you know, because I know we all talk about it and people are like, oh my 
my god but you guys when something is good it's good when something is like you know worth mentioning worth talking about i can't deny the person that might be watching the video or my channel for the first time if you're watching for the first time can you take 2.5 seconds if you stuck around this long and hit the subscribe button and while you're at it can you also hit that like button and if you've been here before and you don't know if you're subscribed or if you liked it just click both buttons doesn't matter over here we just hit buttons this is delina 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 rhubarb lychee nutmeg turkish rose uh vetiver cedar this is a beautiful beautiful fragrance this is a beast when it comes to projection sillage uh, longevity all of it it can get this has a nice hair spray to it like a hair mist it also has a body cream I will link everything in the description box below so you can make this even you can make this last even more and it doesn't even need any help it performs amazingly on its own but you can go the extra mile it is you know a pretty penny I always say start with the sample but this right here you guys is really really good I love Delina um, it just does it for me. It could just get it. This is one that could be worn year round too. They do have Delina exclusive, which is a little heavier. It is like an older sister to Delina. But um, if I only can keep one in my collection, it would be the original Delina. This right here is just where it's at for me. It's very feminine, very pretty, very whimsical. Um, think dates, but day dates, apple picking dates. I'm still with the apple picking. Um, brunch, you know, light shopping, hanging out just good vibes it just gives good beautiful whimsical girly feminine vibes but it's a woman fragrance let's be clear i move on here another one i wasn't gonna let this one go i know formal dates tom ford black orchid i love this fragrance it is absolutely beautiful to me it is sexy it is formal it is cacao it is chocolate it is very um luxurious it is refined it is grab your best scooby-doos we are going out tonight i definitely put this in date category definitely cold weather category for me um guy girl man woman boy child human pull up you can rock this fragrance it's enough for everybody to play in the reindeer games christmas is over girl anyways um yeah that is tom ford black orchid it is a warm spicy sweet like i said cacao dark chocolate amber vanilla sandalwood patchouli beautiful fragrance this is very polarizing i do not i repeat i do not recommend blind buying this one at all i move on we're getting ready to put this one away for my season um if it's so cold where you are i would say rock it and rock it well that is angel mugler muse uh this one here is a warm spicy patchouli it is a gourmand it is hazelnut it is whipped cream it is addictive it is mysterious it is sexy this is definitely a date night this is something that if i was breaking up with somebody I would probably overspray this and sit in their car <laughs> with the windows all rolled up. And then I would like be like, it's over. You know what I mean? I, it's over. And this scent will forever haunt them. I don't know why I went there, but kind of that's what I was thinking. Um, yeah, because this fragrance is unforgettable. You're never going to forget somebody that wore this. Like, I would hate to have not had a good memory tied to this because every time you smelt this, you would definitely think about it you know what I mean it's just it's, but, but then I wouldn't want to get rid of it either because it's such a beautiful fragrance I wouldn't want to get it out of my collection so thank God I only have good memories with that that is Angel Muse um I picked this up at the Marshalls uh, for about $29.99 so always check your rack stores you can always find great deals there if your places are open I'm only encouraging you to go out if it's you know if it's within your states I can't be bothered you're adults use good judgment i move on okay if you're not adults uh ask your parents okay of course this one was going to be in here this is coco mademoiselle and this is a beast yes it is very popular yes it has been around forever yes tons of people have it doesn't matter there's only one you can't nobody rock it like you can't nobody rock it like me it is what it is i'm always going to make it do what it does or do what it do i don't know one of them but this is coco mademoiselle absolutely love it if you want a sexier version get coco mademoiselle intense and if you you know just like the original get the original if you want something even lighter than the two i would recommend coco mademoiselle le privé the bedtime fragrance i spoke about that on the channel i have a full dedicated review to that fragrance so if you want more in depth make sure you check that video out this is a warm floral orange patchouli turkish rose um orient it's a beautiful fragrance it is coco mademoiselle and you are wearing chanel darling 
I move on. And, and tip number six, when your fragrance gets down this low, I'm still gonna spray it. I'm still gonna use it until it's completely done, but I do have a backup. So tip number six would be when you have your backups, leave it in its entirety of its packaging. Leave it completely wrapped, cellophane, sealed, everything, and store it somewhere in a dark, dry place. That will just help it to preserve itself. Also too, with your fragrances, you do wanna make sure even when they're like this, that you store it somewhere cool. I don't put my fragrances by the sunlight. I don't put them by direct light. Like these lights would be way too bright. I only turn these on when I'm talking to you guys. And then I normally store my fragrances in my closet. And then I have like this big, um, like a uh, terry cloth type of uh, sheet or something that I'll put on them if the lights are gonna be too bright in there for long periods of time. So those are just also ways that you can preserve your fragrance um, so that they last longer. Fragrances do have an expiration date. It's all different. It all varies. Some are five, 10 years, some never. I mean, you know, hello. That's just a tip to keep it and preserve it a little longer. And the final one, you guys, is Santal 33 by Lilabo. This is woody, powdery leather. This is a warm, spicy. I oftentimes tell you guys it's the iris note in here for me. Sandalwood, cedar, cardamom. This is a beast. I know, I know, everybody has it. Everybody wears it in New York. You already know how I feel about that, right? Okay. Um, this right here is good. If you want a fragrance that is going to last, that is going to project, that is gonna get on you, hold you tight, never let you go, and it's sexy, and you can put your own spin on it. I mean, you know, it's all in how you do things, how you rock things. This right here is really, really good. I told you guys a story, if you remember. I wore this inside the house, and I just was just Netflixing and chilling, just hanging out down on the couch with my guy, and I kept going like, it's too much, it's too strong. I don't even think I oversprayed it. I think I only sprayed like maybe two or three sprays, but oh my gosh, it was so heavy. It was so loud, it projects so strong. So this is definitely not one that I would reach for in the house, but if you're looking for something, this is really good. I will say too, from this same house. I believe it's another 13, is amazing. I had a chance to play with that. And I believe it's Noir or Nui, Noir uh, 29 is really good as well. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by my channel today. I truly appreciate you. Hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully you picked up some gems and tips that you can take with you to help your fragrance journey, help your fragrance last, get them to last all day. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Everything will be linked in the description box below. Also, if you wanna take it a step further, always connect with me over on Instagram. I always get back to you guys and answer your fragrance questions over there as well. So I look forward to hearing from you. Until next time, beautiful souls, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, stay fabulous, but more importantly, wear your mask and stay safe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.